Hey, Martin, uh, just wondering, how do you feel about joining a defensive back room, cornerback room that includes uh, pro bowler Denzel Ward, first round pick Greg Newsom? Uh, what do you think of those guys and how do you feel? Uh, you know, what will you add to the room and to the team? Um, it's, it's exciting, man. It's exciting just, just going in with guys, you know, that's you know, been in my position, um, great players, and just going in and learning from them, you know, it's going to be great. And just coming in, I'm going to compete, you know, give it all I got, you know, bring a little size, um, bring some physicality. I'm just going to bring everything I got. So I'm just excited, you know, just to be a part of the team, be a part of that defensive back group. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Next is Scott Petrick. Hey, Martin, um, what kind of communication did you have with the Browns before the draft? Did you expect them? Did you expect them to take you? Um, I had a formal meeting at the combine and we went, we went, really didn't talk that much after. So I didn't expect it. And what, like, did you expect to go today? What were kind of your thoughts heading into the draft? Uh, I didn't really know, <laughs> honestly. I didn't really ask too much, uh, my agent too much. I was just, you know, just going in, you know, with an open mind, just wherever I went, I was just going to be, you know, just go in and make the best of it, go in and compete. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Nate Ulrich, go ahead. Hey, Martin, congratulations. Um, what would you tell us that you bring uh, as a corner, uh, your strengths, and what do you need to work on as you transition to the NFL? Uh, my strengths? Just maybe be, just being versatile, you know, coming in and, and being able to do anything the coach asks me. You know, so if that's going to press, you know, playing off zone or whatever, blitzing, whatever. So, yeah, just being versatile, I feel like I can bring that, you know, to this team. And and I'm, what I need to work on, I feel like it's getting more turnovers. So that's going to be, you know, a goal of mine, getting turnovers for the team, helping us win. You know, you bring up the turnovers. How much did teams talk to you about, um, you know, one interception and how much does that kind of motivate you that, you know, obviously uh, it's something you want to work out and get more? Um, it's kind of like a personal thing, honestly. I, I mean, some teams brought it up to me, maybe two, maybe uh, like two that I can remember off my head about, you know, could I, did I have ball skills or whatnot? But, um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, that's just something I want to prove to myself, you know, and just get the ball because I know I can get the ball, you know. So I just want to, you know, prove it to myself and, and make that happen. Thank you, Nate. Marla Reinhardt, go ahead. Yeah, I was just curious. You only played DB like one full season in high school. What was that? What prompted that switch? And how did you come to love it? My um, high school coach, actually, you know, I want I wanted to play offense, so. I always, I love playing offense, but he kind of forced me, you know, my, so he kind of forced me to go over there and, and I excelled at it. So, and I, I started getting offers at the position. So I just, you know, I just stuck with it and I ended up falling in love with it. So that's kind of how it happened. And I'm just where, wondering where you are. Do you have your family there so, tonight or what, did you have anything going on during the draft? Yeah, I, I am. I am. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now with my family. Thank you, Marla. Jeff Shadell has our next question. I, mean, I was gonna just wonder, do you know anything about the Browns or are you gonna just learn about them when you get up here? You said, do I know anything about the Browns? Right. Uh, yeah, I do. I do know about the Browns. Like like what? What, uh, what stands out to them about you? Or stands out to you about them? Uh, the defensive back, the defensive back group, defensive backs that I'm going to work with. All right, thank you. Sorry. Thanks, Jeff. Let's go to Ashley Bastock. Hey, Martin, congratulations. Um, I did want to follow up on that transition you made in high school from wide receiver to cornerback. I guess like now, like how did that help you make the transition in terms of reading some of these opposing offenses that you faced in, in college and how has that maybe molded your game? How did it mold me? It was a great transition, really. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think. Um, that's a good question. I'll probably say, you know, just think, just thinking like, you know, what a receiver would like to do, you know. Um, yeah, just probably thinking like what a receiver would like to use against me and what how I was thinking when I played receiver. So that probably helped. 
And then uh, a follow up on the interceptions question from college. I mean, I know looking at your stats, you were only targeted on it looks like 13% of the snaps uh, this past season and 15% in 2020. So like, do you think you just weren't maybe getting enough opportunities to get some of those takeaways? And, and if you get more of those opportunities, they'll kind of come naturally. Yes, ma'am. I kind of do. But at the same time, you know, I feel like that's kind of making an excuse for me. So uh, I don't try to make no excuses, but uh, I did get targeted. So I feel like I could have, you know, some of them plays I could have made and got intercepted. So, but yeah, I do feel like that play a role, but I don't really try to look at it like that. But yes, ma'am. Thank you, Ashley. We'll go back to Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, yeah, Martin, just wondering about, I know you've probably studied up on the Browns a little bit. How excited are you to uh, to get out there and and work against guys like Deshaun Watson and Amari Cooper? Uh, man, it's going to be great. You know, them great players, you know, and, and you know, the best of what they do. So, you know, me coming in, it's going to be great, you know, just getting better and working with those guys. Thank you. Appreciate Mary Kay. Nate Oreck, you're up. Martin, did you think you'd get picked in the third round or did you think you'd be waiting a little bit longer? Was this about the range or what, what were your expectations? Uh, I, he told me second, third round, so, so yeah. Okay. Uh, in your draft bio, it says you, you played uh, outside uh, corner throughout college. And did you ever practice on, on the inside, uh, you know, in, in, in nickel? And do you think it's something you could add to your game? Yes, sir. I have at state actually. I have practice in the inside. Um, played a lot of it in high school, but I know it's like that's on a different level. But yes, sir, I have. I try to you know be versatile. So I mean, whatever whatever coach you know want me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. 